Hello folks, welcome back to WIF Facts, and for today's video, we'll talk about the different animals who master the art of camouflage. Before we begin, can I make a request to click that subscribe and like button if you haven't subscribed to the channel? Done? Alright, thanks for being awesome. Camouflage, also known as cryptic coloration, is a defense mechanism used by organisms to conceal their appearance and blend in with their surroundings allowing them to hide their location, identity, and movement. The effectiveness of camouflage depends on various factors, including the physical characteristics and behavior of the organism, as well as the characteristics of its predators. Camouflage tactics include background matching, disruptive coloration, warning coloration, and countershading. Camouflage can be achieved through pigments or physical structures. Mimicry is another form of camouflage, where an organism looks or acts like another object or organism. And now, let's dive into these amazing animals. Lizards like Chameleons change color for various reasons, including camouflage, social signaling, and reactions to temperature and other conditions. The importance of these functions varies among species and situations. The color change can signal a chameleon's physical condition and intentions to other chameleons and it can also help them regulate their body temperatures by adjusting the color of their skin. Chameleons tend to show brighter colors when they are aggressive and darker colors when they are submissive. Some chameleon species, such as Smith's dwarf chameleon, adjust their coloration specifically for camouflage against specific predator species. Leaf-tailed geckos or flat-tailed geckos, commonly referred to as Europlatus. The Europlatus species exhibit highly effective camouflage with their cryptic coloring which is mostly grayish-brown to black or greenish-brown with various patterns that resemble tree bark. This camouflage is of two types, leaf form and bark form. The leaf form is found in several small-bodied species, whereas the bark form blends in seamlessly with the tree bark on which they perch during the day. Some of these bark-like forms have evolved a skin flap running along the length of their body, known as a dermal flap, which they press against the tree during the day, creating shadows and making their shape virtually invisible. These geckos bear a striking resemblance to geckos from the genera Phaluris and Saltuarius of Australia, which is an example of convergent evolution. Other lizards that are good in camouflage are Aegean wall lizards, dragon lizards, and desert horned lizards. Frogs Frog skin exhibits a range of colors and patterns that serve different purposes. Some frogs have well-camouflaged dappled brown, gray, and green skin, while others have bright red, yellow, and black patterns that indicate toxicity and repel predators. Ground-dwelling frogs often have features such as warts and skin folds that aid in camouflage. Certain species can alter their color and texture to blend in with their surroundings, with some changing color depending on the time of day or year. For example, the Pacific tree frog has green and brown morphs and can change color to match its background. The wood frog uses disruptive coloration, including black eye markings and dorsal skin bands to resemble leaves and avoid detection by predators. Examples are, Vietnamese mossy frog got its name from its skin coloration, which is a mixture of green and brown spots that resemble moss growing on a rock. This serves as useful camouflage for the frog. They curl up into a ball and feign death when threatened. Other examples are glass frogs, gray tree frogs, and the common green frog. Snakes like, Western diamondback rattlesnake blends their coloration well with the environment, as a form of camouflage for them to remain hidden from both predators and prey. Their skin has a base color of grayish-brown to brown and is marked with a series of diamond-shaped markings along its back that are outlined in white or cream. The pattern resembles the rocky terrain of their habitat, which helps them to blend in and avoid detection. Their face has a heat-sensing organ that guides them to locate prey and avoid predators. Other examples are gaboon viper, scarlet kingsnake, and green snakes. Butterflies Numerous butterfly species have evolved coloration and patterns that allow them to blend in with their surroundings for camouflage, which is known as cryptic coloration. The wings of many butterflies feature patterns that resemble leaves, bark, or other natural elements in their environment, which helps to protect them from predators. Other species have bright, bold colors that serve as a warning to predators that they are toxic or unpleasant to eat. Common examples are, dead leaf butterfly or orange oak leaf butterfly, is known for its excellent camouflage ability. Its wings are shaped and colored like a dead leaf, complete with veins and markings that mimic the texture of a dry leaf. When resting, they fold their wings together, 
creating the illusion of a dried-up leaf that blends in perfectly with the surrounding foliage. This allows the butterfly to avoid detection by predators and increases its chances of survival. Other examples are owl butterflies, common brimstone, hamadryas, giant swallowtails, comma, and viceroy. Moth. Numerous moth species have evolved coloration and patterns that allow them to blend in with their surroundings for camouflage. Some moths have wings with patterns that match the colors of the flowers or plants they rest on, while others have wings that resemble tree bark or leaves and others have the ability to change their coloration to match their surroundings like chameleons. Camouflage helps moths to avoid being seen by predators, making it an important adaptation for their survival. Great examples are hornet moth, underwing moths, oleander hawk moth, angle shades, elephant hawk moth, and peppered moth. Spiders like Goldenrod crab spider is known for its ability to change its color to match the color of the flower it sits on as a form of camouflage. They can range in color from white, yellow, and pink, depending on the flower they are on. This helps them blend in with the flower and ambush their prey, which are often pollinators like bees and butterflies. Other examples are lichen huntsman, wraparound spider, and selenia excavata. Grasshoppers like Leaf katydid's its body shape and coloration closely resemble those of a leaf, allowing it to blend in seamlessly with its environment and avoid detection by predators. Their wings are also shaped and colored like leaves, adding to their camouflage. When not moving, it looks almost exactly like a leaf on a branch, making it difficult for predators to spot. Mantises like Orchid mantis is a species that imitates certain parts of the orchid flower. Its four walking legs resemble petals, and the front pair, which is toothed, are used for grasping prey like other mantises. They have the ability to change color between pink and brown, depending on the background color. This camouflage is likely used to deceive potential predators and to serve as aggressive mimicry of the orchid, which helps them catch pollinating insect prey. Other examples are praying mantis and deaf leaf mantis. Owls like Eastern Screech Owl is recognized for its impressive ability to blend in with its surroundings through camouflage. Its feathers feature a mottled pattern that enables them to seamlessly blend with tree bark, making them challenging for predators to detect. Its gray coloration provides additional camouflage by blending with the shadows and branches of the trees where it roosts during the daytime. By combining its small size with its ability to remain motionless, this owl can further enhance its camouflage and remain concealed from both predators and prey. Other examples are the great gray owl, tawny owl, scops owl, long-eared owl, and snowy owl. Seahorses like Leafy sea dragon's name is derived from its appearance, which features long leaf-like protrusions growing all over its body. Although these protrusions are not used for propulsion, they serve as a camouflage mechanism. The leafy sea dragon moves through the water by means of a nearly transparent pectoral fin on the ridge of its neck and a dorsal fin. On its back closer to the tail end, which undulate minutely to give the illusion of floating seaweed, the lobes of skin that grow on the sea dragon's body provide effective camouflage, making it look like a piece of seaweed. It is capable of maintaining this illusion even when swimming. They can also change their color to blend in, although this ability is dependent on several factors, including diet, age, location, and stress levels. Pygmy seahorse is recognized for its ability to camouflage exhibiting texture and color that closely matches that of the gorgonian coral it resides in, rendering it almost invisible to predators and prey. Their skin is covered in tiny fleshy bumps that resemble coral polyps, enabling them to blend in effortlessly with their habitat. This camouflage is called crypsis, and it allows them to remain concealed and secure in their natural surroundings. Octopus Octopuses possess a remarkable talent for camouflage due to their specialized skin cells known as chromatophores. These cells enable them to modify the color and texture of their skin, allowing them to blend in with their surroundings and evade detection from predators or prey. In addition to changing the color and texture of their skin, Octopuses can contort their body to match the shape of their environment, which enhances their ability to camouflage. The mimic octopus can change their skin color and texture to blend in with their surroundings using chromatophores. However, it is unique in its ability to imitate a wide variety of marine animals, making it an impressive example of mimicry in the animal kingdom. The octopus typically has a light brown or beige color but it can change to a more distinct striped pattern of white and brown to deter predators by mimicking poisonous or territorial species. Its exceptional ability to change its body shape is what earned it the name Mimic Octopus, 
which is its primary defense mechanism. The mimic octopus is known to imitate many different species of animals, with flatfish being one of its most commonly mimicked animals. It can also mimic lionfish by spreading out its arms to mimic the fish's spines, sea snakes by hiding six of its arms and holding the remaining two parallel to each other, jellyfish by inflating its mantle and trailing their arms behind it, and zebra sole by holding all eight arms behind it as it swims with its siphon. Additionally, the mimic octopus may use its mimicry to approach and deceive prey, such as mimicking a crab as a potential mate before devouring it. Despite its remarkable mimicry abilities, the mimic octopus can still use camouflage to blend in with its sandy environment. It has even been observed mimicking sessile animals such as small sponges, tubeworm tubes, and colonial tunicates. The mimic octopus seems to have a high level of intelligence and can decide which mimicry behavior would be most effective in a given situation. For example, if being harassed by damselfish, it may mimic a banded sea snake, which is a predator of damselfish. Another one from the Cephalopoda family are Cuttlefish possess a remarkable ability to change the color and texture of their skin to blend in with their surroundings, even in low-light conditions. This ability is achieved despite their inability to perceive color and the mechanism behind it is not fully understood. Different species of cuttlefish use different camouflage techniques to match their surroundings. For instance, sepia officinalis employs disruptive patterning to match the substrate by creating contrasting patterns, while s. Pharaonis blends in with the substrate. Even though they lack color vision, both species adapt their skin colors to match their environment. This adaptation is specific to their particular habitat and can vary even within a few feet. In addition to color, cuttlefish can change the texture of their skin using circular muscle bands that create spikes, bumps, or flat blades. This makes them not only chromatically similar but also texturally similar to objects in their environment such as rocks or kelp. Camouflage is the most effective technique used by cuttlefish for survival. Smaller male cuttlefish can even use their camouflage abilities to trick larger male cuttlefish by disguising themselves as females and approaching the females to mate. They can change their body color and even mimic holding an egg sac, fooling the larger males and achieving their reproductive goals. Jaguar. Jaguars are excellent in terms of camouflage. Their unique coat pattern of dark spots called rosettes on a light or orange background helps them blend into their habitats, which are commonly grassland and dense forests. They use their camouflage when hunting or hiding to make it easier for them to approach their prey undetected, or to avoid being detected by potential threats such as humans or other predators. Zebra. Zebras are known for their distinctive black and white striped coat which provides them with a type of camouflage known as disruptive coloration. This means that the bold pattern breaks up the outline of the zebra's body, making it harder for predators to detect them. Additionally, the stripes make it difficult for predators to focus on an individual zebra in a group, creating visual confusion that helps protect the herd as a whole. Mountain Hare The mountain hare is known for their camouflage ability. In the summer, the fur turns brown to blend in with the surrounding vegetation while in the winter, its fur turns white to blend in with the snow, providing excellent camouflage from predators. The seasonal change in coat color is known as molting. Polar Bear Polar bears are highly adapted to their arctic home and possess remarkable survival adaptations, such as their camouflage that allows them to blend into their environment. Their white fur provides superb camouflage in the ice and snow, rendering them almost invisible to predators and prey alike, and uses their large and wide paws as snowshoes for them to move easily while their black skin helps them absorb more heat from the sun in the cold arctic conditions. In conclusion, polar bears have several unique adaptations, including their remarkable camouflage, that support their survival in the challenging arctic ecosystem. Fishes like Stonefish is recognized for its exceptional camouflage skills thanks to its bumpy and spiny skin that matches the mottled brown and gray shades of the rocky seafloor it inhabits. Their camouflage is so efficient that it makes it challenging for predators and prey to detect the fish, which gives it an advantage as a predator. Another ability they have is to alter their color and pattern to blend in even better with their surroundings, further boosting their camouflage abilities. Ghost pipefish's thin body and leaf-shaped extensions allow it to imitate seaweed and other submerged vegetation making it almost indistinguishable from predators and prey. The pipefish's coloration also helps it merge with its environment, 
making it challenging for predators to identify. The ghost pipefish's survival relies heavily on this type of camouflage since it is a slow-moving fish. That uses its ability to avoid detection by predators. Flounders have the ability to change the color and pattern of their skin to match their surroundings, allowing them to blend in with the ocean floor and avoid detection by prey or predators. It's so effective that it can be difficult for predators to distinguish them from the surrounding sand or rocks, making them a successful ambush predator. Turtle Numerous turtle species have developed coloration and patterns to effectively camouflage themselves. Freshwater turtles, for instance, have shells that are either brown or green, enabling them to blend with the bottom of rivers or ponds where they reside. Sea turtles, on the other hand, have shells that match the color of the sand on beaches. Apart from their shell, some turtle species also have skin coloration that aids them in blending with their surroundings. A case in point is the bog turtle, which possesses a bright yellow or orange patch on the sides of its head that allows it to blend with fallen leaves and flowers on the ground. In its natural habitat, best examples are Mata Mata turtle and green sea turtle. Crabs like sand crabs have the ability to blend in with their surroundings due to their shell's color and texture which matches the sand on the beach where they live. This makes it difficult for predators to spot them. Additionally, sand crabs can quickly bury themselves in the sand to further conceal themselves, making them even harder to detect. This is crucial for their survival, as sand crabs are often preyed upon by many birds and other animals that inhabit the beach. Decorator crabs are a group of crabs belonging to various species that have the unique ability to use materials from their surroundings. As a form of camouflage or defense against predators, they do this by attaching mostly stationary plants and animals to their bodies, which helps them blend in with their environment. Alternatively, if the organisms they attach are toxic or unpalatable, they use them for aposematism, which is a form of warning coloration to deter predators. Another example are spider crabs. Sharks like Epaulette shark has a body covered in dark spots that mimic the speckled appearance of the coral reefs it inhabits. This enables the shark to blend in with its surroundings, making it challenging to detect when it remains motionless on the reef. Despite being targeted by larger fish, including other sharks, the epaulette shark's coloration provides it with protective camouflage. Other experts speculate that the shark's distinctive epaulette could function as an eye spot to distract or discourage potential predators. Wabigongs exhibit excellent camouflage with a bold, symmetrical pattern that resembles a carpet, which is why they and their close relatives are commonly referred to as carpet sharks. In addition to this striking pattern, the wabigong's camouflage is enhanced by small whisker lobes that resemble weed and surround its jaw. These lobes serve a dual purpose by camouflaging the shark and acting as sensory barbs. Wabigongs utilize their camouflage to conceal themselves among rocks and surprise smaller fish that venture too close, which is typical of ambush predators. Additionally, wabigongs have a powerful jaw filled with needle-like teeth that help them capture reef fish and even other sharks for food. Slugs like Nudibranchs or often called sea slugs are a type of marine gastropod mollusk that typically discard their shells after their larval stage. To protect themselves from being an easy meal for passing predators they have developed other ways of protection. They change their shape, skin color, and texture to blend in with their surroundings. They can mimic the colors and patterns of the sponges, corals, and other creatures that they feed on. They also have the ability to release a noxious chemical when threatened, making them less appealing to predators. How about humans? Yes, they also use camouflage for military operations, observing wildlife, and hunting. They use clothing, equipment, and other means like paint and makeup for their camouflage. It might not be as good with animals, but it still gets the job done. Here are some ways humans camouflage. Ghillie suits. Ghillie suits are specialized camouflage attire commonly used by the military and hunters to effectively blend into thick vegetation. These suits typically incorporate patterns of contrasting green or khaki, as well as natural elements of foliage such as twigs, leaves, and branches from the surrounding area to help achieve maximum concealment. Interestingly, in Australia, these suits are nicknamed yoes due to their resemblance to the yoey a mythical creature similar to Bigfoot. Khaki Camouflage Khaki is a light shade of tan with a slight yellowish hue that has been used by various armies globally for uniforms and equipment, especially in arid or desert regions where it helps soldiers blend in with sandy or dusty terrain. Its use as a color name in English dates back to 1848 when it was first introduced as a military uniform. 
The impracticality of traditional bright colors, such as the red coat, was recognized early in the 19th century, particularly for skirmishing. With the advent of technologies such as aerial surveillance and smokeless powder, the need for effective camouflage became paramount. Khaki, therefore, became a suitable solution for blending soldiers into the field of battle. Dazzle Camouflage Dazzle camouflage, also referred to as razzle-dazzle in the U.S. or dazzle painting, is a type of ship camouflage that was widely employed during World War I and to a lesser extent in subsequent conflicts. It involves intricate patterns of contrasting colors and shapes created by British marine artist Norman Wilkinson, although zoologist John Graham Kerr claimed to have suggested it earlier. Unlike traditional camouflage, Dazzle is not designed to conceal ships but rather to make it difficult for enemy observers to estimate the ship's range, speed, and heading. Wilkinson stated in 1919 that the primary goal of Dazzle was to deceive the enemy regarding a ship's direction, forcing them into a disadvantageous firing position. And that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.